It was really strange. It just appeared out of nowhere. Jeff Shaw was driving on 93 North when he got hit by another car. I try to be pretty aware of things, but I didn't see him coming at all. And he, he swiped my vehicle just a little bit. The damage is minimal, but he says the impact scared him. I was in shock. I was you know, very tense, but it wasn't. Um, I was very fortunate. He then saw the driver who police have identified as 32 year old Raymond Fosher hit three other cars, slam into a work zone and flip over. His door opened. He stepped out apparently unharmed. Like I couldn't see any blood. He wasn't, you know, limping. State police say Fosher then started walking down the highway, screaming at other drivers while holding a checkbook. Trooper John Tayo approached him, but he says he wasn't listening. He was looking right through me. He wasn't really acknowledging my, me being there. He just, you know, he actually told me to get back in my car and everything was okay, which I thought was a little, a little strange. Tayo says he tried to handcuff him, but Fosher resisted, which started a fight along the shoulder of the highway. The male tries to reach for my firearm multiple times. My whole goal is to stay on top of him, not get, let him get on top of me. Tayo yelled to other drivers who were stopped asking for help to hold them down, and without hesitation, a group of people ran over. Oh, it was incredible. It was very, it was, it was great to see because I mean, again, these are normal people. They don't sign up for this. We're out there by ourselves a lot. So to have that, you know, the help from the, the public, from New Hampshire, all the motorists, it's very reassuring. Now, state police do tell us that Fosher is in custody tonight pending a mental health evaluation. We're live along 93 North in Londonderry. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.